Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Mentoring Tourism Microentrepreneurship. Um, I am Duarte Moraes. I'm a professor at NC State and um, also an extension specialist, and I'm also an entrepreneur. And so I'm excited to be uh, working with you throughout this course to help you become mentors of tourism microentrepreneurs. I'll explain to you um, my background today and a little bit about the course. All right. So um, something uh, interesting about me is that I basically was raised by tourism. I'm from the north of Portugal, grew up in a farm that receives tourists, and uh, spent my youth um, sitting by the fire with tourists from all around the world, explaining my culture, and watching the economy of, tour of Portugal being dependent on tourism, and then you know watching my community and my own family trying to harness the economic opportunities of tourism and failing some ways and, and winning sometimes. And as you may know, tourism is uh, Portugal is the one of the world's most celebrated tourism destinations even today. So we have been dealing with tourism for a long time. And you know, it's kind of in my DNA as well. So I'll try to bring that to this classroom. Um, I came to the US for grad school, and I was trained in tourism marketing. So I've done a lot of stuff with destinations and companies trying to help them get more tourists or more benefits from tourists. So that kind of business sense uh, is ingrained in my training. Uh, and then in addition to that, I've done a lot of research poking at tourism issues and um, looking at how tourism fails to really bring prosperity. So I have kind of the business marketing background, but also kind of a sobering critical social science perspective on tourism. And then upon coming to NC State about 10 years ago, um, I made a pitch to be an action researcher. So now I don't just research and teach, I also try to uh, create impact with the people I work with so that, so that those communities develop tourism in their terms and those companies are more successful. And uh, lastly, I will talk to you about how um, I was able to use some of my inventions and my innovations from the research and actually started a company. So I'm a, an entrepreneur um, in, in tourism. So uh, image is better than a thousand words. So I wanted to introduce you to my family's tourism operation in Portugal. It's a 17th century farm home with six rooms and we also um, host weddings. And you, you can see um, in the screen perhaps, but we're one of the top rural attractions, rural tourism attractions in Portugal, as for example in this article from The Guardian. So look it up, Quinta de Mata, Portugal. You'll get to the website and you'll see us on booking.com and we deal with commissions and tours and event planners and wedding singers and you know all kinds of things like that. So this was kind of uh, my upbringing. And then at uh, NC State, I'm the lead instigator of P1T Lab, of this thing, this movement and this ecosystem for critical tourism studies and microentrepreneurship in particular. And we are kind of the beacon for a whole consortium of programs around the world. Professors like me and students and my former students that are now spread around the US and the world studying tourism microentrepreneurs and how they can be successful and how they can make their destinations successful. And uh, I am an extension specialist. So part of my job is to go around North Carolina and give uh, marketing advice and development advice to tourism development authorities, to county managers, to uh, farmers, and to shop owners, and B&B owners, and all of those people. And I have a little bit of a travel budget in addition to my projects to around the state and do that. This particular project is called Fork to Farmer, and it's uh, designed to connect small farmers with um, the tourism authorities and with famous chefs around the state so that they get more marketing clout and they're able to sell um, experiences and more product to restaurants so that basically the farmers benefit a little bit more from uh, local foods tourism which is as you might know really thriving in North Carolina with famous chefs and a lot of people visiting for this kind of thing. So look it up for the farmer you can read more about it. And then I mentioned to you I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a social entrepreneur. So uh, as you might know, that means that I try to find ways to use business to create social good or environmental good. But in, in the case of People First Tourism is to create some kind of social equity through business. 
Um, and so I'm the CEO of this company, People First Tourism Inc. It's NC State's first social technology startup, and they host us downtown in downtown Raleigh, where we have interns and, and employees now. We have employees and our growth in sales of packages and, and uh, farm visits and tours downtown. And we're, cons have con we're consultants of destinations that want to become more people first centric. And so once again, uh, feel free to Google People First Tourism. You'll get to this website, you'll see the kinds of things that we offer. And something for you to note is that everybody that is offering thing, experiences there, they're people that we study. So my students and I, my colleagues, we interview them, collect data, we meet them, try to meet every one of them once a year to see how things are going. And we create then online teaching materials and training materials and business ideas and try to help them develop. On to the course structure. Um, this is a seven, eight week online course and uh, it has uh, these seven modules. But um, I wanted to uh, explain that you were going to get two main things from this course. One is how to help the micro-entrepreneurs. And actually the word help is a bad word in this course. We are assisting them in achieving the kind of success that they desire. Okay, so that's important. But now it's important that you understand that we're not doing that at the expense of tourism development or at the expense of business in general, economic development. By helping these micro entrepreneurs, oh, I just did it again. Um, by assisting and coaching and mentoring micro entrepreneurs and allowing them to succeed, we are making the formal tourism sector also stronger, more equitable, and more competitive. And there are several destinations around North Carolina and internationally that are seeking our advice on how to do these two things, to um, integrate or find uh, synergies between these local people that want to make a little bit of money and they have passionate things to share and experiences to create for visitors, and then how the hotels, restaurants, and cities and counties benefit from that. Okay, So we will talk about overall destination management about ways for you to engage with micro-entrepreneurs because most of us have a lot of privilege which makes us less well equipped to understand people that are underemployed and they're kind of wanting to, ask to they're a little removed from mainstream society, you know. So we will discuss methods that we can use to kind of connect with them a little bit better and serve them a little bit better. We're going to learn about the research we've done about how micro-entrepreneurs develop, what motivates them, what kind of challenges they face. We're going to look at technology solutions. We're in the age of technology, right? And so we're looking at very, very cool, simple to use, hands-on tools that allow us to serve the micro-entrepreneurs and get, you know, balance the scale, plates of the scale a little bit more in their favor so that they can harness this power from tourism. We're going to also look at policy level on how tourism money might be used to help the micro-entrepreneurs to assist them. Again, I keep using the bad word and also partnerships, how we can foster partnerships between us, you know, the private sector, restaurants, hotels, attractions like museums and things like that. And uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, the course assessments. Um, for the most part, they're going to be very hands-on, very engaging. Uh, we will not have an assignment, uh, an exam at the end of the semester. Um, and I want you to start thinking about how you're going to do all of these assignments uh, to a destination of your choice. So if I was taking the class, I might do it in regards to my hometown in Portugal or to my current hometown here in Raleigh, you know? And for you, the same thing. You can come from many places and I want this class to be really relevant to you and I want you to be kind of proud of having generated a bunch of assignments from this course that you can show somebody, your neighbors, your family, your supervisors, etc. because you will be working in this class applying this knowledge to your uh, home destination. So to finish, I wanted to invite you to go look up the manifesto of the People First Tourism mo Movement. It's important to me that you understand kind of the ethical DNA of this kind of work, you know, and it, you get a sense for how it all works out in the benefit of the destination anyway. But uh, please look at uh, the assignment for this uh, introduction module. It will involve you commenting on this manifesto, which is online. So. Thank you.